Hello everyone, uh, the 8,000 of you might know me by now, um, if you don't, that's understandable, but I am Mal Hughes, and for 10 years, this channel has been active on YouTube, producing tutorials, gameplays, and more, which just was abbreviated to TGM, this Hugbox TGM. Now, as for the origin of the Hugbox portion of the channel name, it sort of involves some kind of gold ability thing, but who cares to be honest. Anyway, now we got down that we got all those basic details out of the way, um, let's get into the history of the channel and its present life. Two thousand eight was the first year of Hugbox TGM, although this was way before it was called that and was unofficially referred to as Hugnano Five after the username. The first video was uploaded August twenty fourth, two thousand eight, but not by me. No, at the time, my mother actually controlled the channel. Anyway, nine videos would be uploaded in two thousand eight, technically making it the least active year for the channel. In 2009, no videos were uploaded to the Hugnano Five channel, but were instead uploaded to another one. Four videos, mind you. These videos were my first attempt at creating a web series, but was more of a, of a poor man's parody of iCarly, a popular Nickelodeon show at the time. In 2010, I took control of the Hugo 905 channel and created a poor parody of the iWake Gamer, which would virtually dominate the entire year since I only got back to YouTube in November of that year. For context, I was a big iWake Gamer fanboy at the time, and I didn't understand that Third Rate Gamer, from whom I subtly stole some jokes from, was a parody of the iWake Gamer and not a spinoff of the show. iWake Gamer Molly would conclude by just the next month. In 2011, I used two different accounts to upload videos. The first channel was the one that was opened by my father, which I controlled them from February to September of that year. The videos on these, these channels were essentially prototypes for the content you would find on my channel today. I returned to, Hug to the Hug905 channel in September, and I would continue to use it to produce poorly made Windows Movie Maker videos through early next year. Early in 2012, I uploaded three videos to the Hogan on a 5 channel, a poor parody of Survival, and you, would, can, you can kind of see that I was only accustomed to the first season of the show. Anyway, after the last video of that web series I uploaded, I would take a 5 month hiatus from the channel, returning in June of that year. Returning that month, I've, uplo I've uploaded a ton of videos, among of which would be a Winnie the Pooh video, which would rise to become the most popular video on the channel for several years. Most of the videos from the rest of the summer of that year were pretty pedestrian stuff, but later that year, several of in factors, including being self-introduced to the SCP community, PewDiePie, the animation community, Roblox, and many other factors would result in, what I feel, a major impact which would shape the types of content I would, begin, I would begin to put out more regularly for years to come on my channel. 2013 would be another major transformative video for my channel, one of those things being the introduction of YouTube's one channel layout which heavily advertised the use of, of a channel banner and a channel trailer to help YouTubers promote themselves. Another was my gullibility, which resulted in the introduction in, wait for it, the Hugbox branding. I wouldn't officially use the Hugbox branding until the next year, but it did have such a major impact on my channel that I began to upload regularly, more or less, and the types of videos I would put out would become more and more diverse, again, more or less. After taking a month off from uploading for the last month of 2013, I upgraded my laptop to Windows 8 and began 2014. The videos that year were pretty pedestrian, though it would be the first year the Hugbox TGM branding came into place. Also, I was suspended for two weeks due to vi old videos of mine, so that is something. 2015 was probably the most active year for the channel, though most of the videos were very pedestrian as always. In March of that year, I was supplied with the logo and channel design I currently use, thanks to Failing McKeon, a fan of mine. Also, I would upload this video, which is currently the most viewed video on my channel. I forgot to add in the script that I also signed on to Freedom Network this year, so that's good. 2016 started off with the videos being relatively pedestrian as usual, other than me complaining about stuff. As the year progressed, however, I began experimenting with different web series. One of the web series was the monthly and a month update videos, which I still produced. Other than that, virtually the rest of the created web series of that year would die out by the early next year, although I felt that they made an in major impact on the channel. 
The impact in question was the increased use of the Hugbox TGM branding, including the establishment of video intros and outros for the channel, and the incompatible Competech music I would use for it, especially during the latter half of the year. Finally, my favorite part of the year was reaching 1 million views on my channel, and that was exciting. 2017 was not as active as the previous years were, but it was no less impactful than said previous years. Other than failing to launch a spin off the channel for all the more videos, <laughs> and being temp temporarily suspended from YouTube, um, there were some nice things that happened. One was me finally reaching 1,000 subscribers after 9 years of being on the site. Also, I began making Hugbox Classics videos just as a kind of exhi exhibition of past views of mine. Also, I began using the self-made music I currently use for my videos. This year, 2018, has been just as impactful as the previous year was. For one, I finally said goodbye to freedom after three years of being on the network, meaning that I am now pretty much producing free content, which I'm just fine with. Also, because of my channel booming, I began to receive more and more subscribers to my channel, and it looks like I'll be on the road to 10,000 subscribers by at least late this year or the early next year, so that's exciting. Oh, and also, one last thing, we've celebrated 10 years of Hugbox TGM! So I hope you enjoyed the history of Hugbox TGM there, um, there's not much more months for this year, so I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what happens in those months and next year. But anyway, that's all for the 10th anniversary video, uh, thank you all for watching me for a decade, and now, on to the next decade. Mm -hmm.